Hi guys, here's another video. This time is about the high pressure fuel pump for Audi A4. This is not OEM part. This is uh, made by Hitachi and it lost about, I would say 100,000 miles. And it failed somewhere right here around the spring where it allowed the fuel to leak down through the cam follower and to the engine and mix the fuel with the motor oil. So what that's kind of dangerous will wash off your piston ring, it will wash off the bearings, and if you drive for long, your engine literally can fail completely just because of this pump. So this car had a really hard time starting or struggling to start, or it would just turn over a couple of times, it would just die. Um, it was it was obvious they has some kind of issue going on with the engine so uh, it gives you check engine light and when you scan it with the obd2 scanner it gives you code p2188 that's the one that this card had and it ended up to be this pump i did check a couple other items and stuff on a card just to make sure but which way ever i was troubleshooting it was pointing me straight to this pump so then i'm recording this video to actually find out why did it fail and i'm gonna attempt to take it apart and see exactly what's going on in there if there's something in the pump that can be fixed or rebuilt right at the place rather than being buying a new oem high pressure fuel pump it's pretty expensive but you can also buy online there is a two stores online you can I mean, most of the cases, if you Google, you will find that there's those two stores online that you can buy OEM parts. Yeah, I'm not gonna name them uh, right now in a video. I but anyway, so the code, trouble code, once again, was P2188 for this pump. And it leaked the fuel through here, down and through the cam follower in an engine and mixed with the oil. So I already re replaced the pump. Car is in the road driving just fine does not struggle anymore starting accelerating or anything like that works just fine as soon as i replace the pump change the oil and oil filter at the same time and i drive another two or three hundred miles and then drain the oil out again and it'll fill it with the new oil to make sure all the fuel it's gone out of the engine it wasn't difficult to take apart it's just you gotta uh, give a little muscle and it gets loose. You got to use a waist to hold it. I didn't show how I lose it, but it's relatively easy, simple, makes sense. So that big nut comes out and has a washer. Then and this is the one that's in the front of a leak. But where pump fell, he fell here. So you see that little washer in there? So this rubber seal. I kind of, I kind of broke it apart. They could not come out so easy. But when it's new, if you oil them real good or something, it will probably go in there. Uh, but this actually was pressed in, and that's that's with a fail. I kind of cheap. It was looking that bad. It wasn't, but. Uh, so this little piston was sliding to that thing up and down and cam follower was pushing this and pumping the fuel. So it kind of fell, it kind of fell right there. So this seal here is the one which one fell and create a gas leak to mix with the oil. So if you see, this is the little spring that goes around this seal. So I couldn't get it out, I kind of broke it. But I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's a seal that has a little tiny spring around that kind of keeps the pressure against against this piston constantly while it's moving. I mean, this thing was moving and, and working constantly, either the engine being idling or not, because it has been pushed to the cam follower. Constantly was pumping. So it surprised me the loss, this pump, the loss, 100,000 miles though. Just the way it's designed, it's just the way it has been designed, OEM and this one and all that stuff. 
So this is what fails. The seal fails. If this seal can be found somewhere and buy it online or something, and I take a pump apart and simply replace this seal and put it all back um, together, I'm pretty sure you would have you would have a working pump again. But so not so fast. Keeping in mind though that you would have to get to see it has an O-ring and I don't know if the camera will focus that but see it has a black O-ring outside also. But this ring it's less likely to go bad because this area is not moving. It's just a fix. It sits there when seals that's it. It's not moving anymore. But if oil gets to it, it probably can go bad while you're replacing it. That little seal why not replace all this o-ring so that o-ring would have to be replaced now on this side this big ring it's a, like a big washer that's on this side so to repair these to replace these i didn't really have to open this back and on this pump i did not have to open because pump was working fine it just was leaking but I had to correct myself because if this thing fails, it doesn't feel, doesn't seal good. So the leak, uh, and I'm assuming that also when pumps the fuel that would create less pressure, but I don't think that seal is designed to serve that purpose. That seal is designed just to prevent the fuel from coming into the engine. And these sleeve, is the one actually that's designed to uh, pump the fuel because this piston it's it's made to be snug in this sleeve it, it's pretty snug so when it flies up and down it's it's pretty tight that's perfect fit so and, and that O-ring or the uh, seal is designed just to prevent the fuel from coming out. And this is the only way that that fuel actually can come out and mix an engine. It's a, in between these two moving parts. So that's the actually, sorry for the camera guys, but that's the actually problem that was with this pump. So this seal fail. Because all other parts in this pump, they're way less likely they would give up. And there's no really much, too many moving parts. This is the only part, this is the only part that's movable, that moves constantly. So, I mean, it would be ideal if you can find all these together, all these piece, and then um, maybe even piston, I guess. But like I said, to, the, to put them back on the road, this seal would be the one to, at a place so that's gonna wrap up this video i just want to share this with you guys so thank you for watching again and uh, like subscribe please leave down a comment if you have any questions about this pump uh, once again thanks for watching guys like and subscribe